Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Norma Acosta with Mommy's Designs. And in this channel, you're gonna be learning how to make different DIYs, how to price them, how to sell them, and where to get them at wholesale. Let me get ready and let's get to work. This is part four and final part of the um, gift set for a baby shower uh, what you're going to need for this video is you're going to need your epoxy and the hardener and these are the ones that i'm going to be using and after this video i'm going to do a review a uh, full review about this uh, product you're going to be using uh, mica colors again i'm going to do a review on these two mica colors whatever color you want to you want to use for the bottom of the the um the little uh, keychain. We're gonna be using any kind of uh, Mod Podge. Uh, you're gonna need a little spoon to pull out your mica color. You're gonna need two of these uh, tweezers or pliers, the jewelry. Uh, you need two of them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the image in here. So you're gonna need an image. And in order to to learn how to how to make it like this, you need to look at video number three, uh, part number three of of this um, set of of videos. Uh, that's where I have all the instructions on how to make an image like this. Uh, it's the image needs to be on a regular piece of paper, needs to be printer with ink jet printer. You're gonna need the first part of the resin, which I did five milliliters of each and gave me 10 milliliters. And then you're gonna need the pieces to put together your keychain. Um, I have these two uh, little baby feet. They're two different sizes. I'm gonna put a link of everything in the description box. I'm gonna be making the big one. First thing that we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna color the resin. And I've been undecided between a black and a blue. I just don't want the color of the, the baby's um, outfit to get lost in the process. So, um, and then I was thinking maybe a green. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this green and see how it comes out. Okay. So let me put the things that I don't need aside, and we're gonna start working with our project. Okay. So I'm gonna be putting just a little bit of this this color the color is called jaded green so i'm gonna put just a little bit of that all this here came with this little nice spoon so i'm using it it's very handy okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and mix it and i don't i try not to go so um so fast so it doesn't the bubbles were almost gone because it was pre-mixed before i i started the video but um i don't want a lot of bubbles so i'm gonna be putting all the resin into the into the foot so there you go let me just spray it it's spread it out okay so it looks like it's almost full but when the, the when the resin starts drying it seems like it shrinks it doesn't shrink per se this way but it shrinks like down so I'm gonna have a more space when when after this one dries this is the hole where um where we put the the keychain through and we might I think we're gonna need a ring bigger than this one this is about 10 uh, millimeters i think we need a 12 or a 14. i'm going to need to look for one like that so there it is that's the green already done i'm going to go ahead and clean my tools and i'm going to let it dry so let's go back um, depending on the area where you live if it's a warm like warm warm day then it takes less time than if when it's cold when it's cold it takes longer so i'm going to leave it right there so that it dries and then we'll go ahead and proceed with everything else and so I see you later. The second step is gonna be really quick. Um, it's already dry. Look at how beautiful, how beautiful the, 
mica is see how beautiful i'm very very happy with it so now um we did 10 milliliters there and we have five milliliters here and we're going to get, get just a little bit of we're just going to get a very little bit of the mud patch any mud patch i mean you don't need a lot and we're going to get a brush or you can even use your finger to go ahead and apply the um the bad patch and the the reason for the mud patch is so that when you pour the clear resin on top of it it doesn't go underneath the image and it doesn't create as many bubbles because uh, the resin starts trying to go underneath so here it is I already put just a very uh, tiny layer and I'm gonna go ahead and fix it where I think it's gonna look nice so here we go okay you can move it a little bit around and get it to where you want it so here it is okay I'm not going to put anything else no name no nothing uh, the mother didn't want a name and I want to pour the clear one which is only five milliliters so you're just going to go over it okay so I'm just going to go ahead and even it up so now I'm going to wait just a little bit I'm going to use um, a different tool I'm going to use this here and I'm going to try to pop all the, the little bubbles. Sometimes the bubbles go away when you just let it be, but sometimes they don't. So I think it's nice to try to break all the bubbles while it's still um, fresh. So here it is. Okay. This is how it's going to look. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Right now here is 750. So I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to just wait until tomorrow. Uh, it says that it, that, it's cure, that it cures between 24 and 48 hours. But the bottom one uh, took about 8 hours to cure. And it was all ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it leave it here and let it dry and I will see you in a little bit here is the uh, how it looks the keychain I found these uh, dry flowers that I had so I went go ahead and I put uh, just a few in there I don't know if you can see it so let's go ahead and take it out basically that's your uh, little foot right there this is how it looks in the back so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. The little uh, round, the little that comes with, with these pieces is a little too small. So it's not going to go in through there. But I have these ones that I purchased not long ago and they are 12 millimeters. So I'm hoping that these ones do fit. They are 12 millimeters. It is a jump ring. So I'm hoping that this will, will, um, do the trick so basically i'm just going to go ahead and go in there perfect there it is and we're going to go ahead and put this inside and uh, if you have seen other videos that i make once i close this i put a little drop of glue so that it doesn't uh, open up and and you lose your your keychain the reason why i do that is because the keychain uh, just you use it a lot you move a lot with it with the keys and everything so that's like extra security for your uh, for your piece so I'm just basically go back and forth until I get them together and sometimes you need to like overlap it a little bit so that they become together see right there I use this Gorilla Glue that it's uh, a dry quick and it's clear so that's what i'm going to be using 
And while I while I put everything in the box, is this is gonna dry. This is gonna be ready. So there's just a little bit, I'm gonna sit it down. So now we're gonna arrange all of our pieces in the box. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the, the breakdown. So hang out until the end. Let me just put this out, out of the way. There we go. So here is our coffee mug that we're gonna put there. This is our onesie. And, um, and here are the blankets. So the blanket, I roll it up just like that. So I went, I went half and then I, I did one more and then one, one more right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and, and, um, and roll it just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna put it in here. There we go. And then I did the same thing with this one. So I just roll it this way and there it goes inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the onesie right there on one corner, just like that. And then the coffee mug. And the keychain. We're gonna put it like right there there it is so now we're going to go ahead and, and cut so this is a black box but what i'm going to do i'm going to decorate it uh in blue i just need to go to the store i didn't realize that i that i didn't have any more blue paper so here's your box they can reuse it they can put it they can reuse it for photos so there is the gift box so here's the breakdown That is all for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye-bye.